to one goal. Riviera team that had just beaten the night before Southern New Hampshire University in their first game program history. So, an impressive start for him. Shot and a goal. Redirected from the point. Kevin Ouellette celebrates. Got a stick on Trevor Hawk's shot, and St. Anselm opens the scoring. Gillette's first goal of the season. Murphy lost the handle, falls to Andari. Quick turn, went off the body of Teddy McElhaney. St. Anselm first to the puck. Hounding possession here. This way, Iaculo. Shot always rising. And for the advantage. And then the Stonehill 6-4 win at Miramax Lawler Arena. Snapped a nine-game unbeaten run. Iaculo in, he scores! The leading scorer in 2020, not missing a beat. His first of the year, St. Anselm with the lead back. He's one of the players the Hawks really want to see get going off. That's what getting out first. Couldn't get it through the traffic jam. Neath it's Chase Reynolds. Spread out back for Murphy on this near wing. Murphy throw, he scores! A shot with eyes from the point. Jack Murphy, first of the year, we're level once again. Trying to see what we have in store for us again. Just five minutes here in this overtime period. Hayes, Hammersmith, and Murphy against Niemer, Peloso, and Pinio. Stonehill with the first possession. John Peloso take it back out to center. He rambles forward, puts on the accelerator. Peloso all the way through, couldn't pot it. Got right in front, a gaping net. Get it forward. Sion blew a tire, the red line monster. Charles Page closes, saved by Howard. Rebound is there. McElhaney, the only one who saw it. This has been a frantic, pacey three on three, exactly as advertised. Arena. Sauced up ahead for Niemer. Niemer has a step, and Howard says no. Chances. Teams went 1-1-1 one, one, and one against each other. Murphy a steal, and Doria breakaway. The game on his stick. Dispossessed by Jake Cady, a game-saving play for the freshman from Raynham. 60 minutes, not enough. 65 either. The NE10 is back here at Sullivan Arena. And what a battle it was between St. Anselm and Stonehill. That elusive 4-0 start. Goes to the wayside. St. Anselm goes to 3-0-1.